Welcome, FNews57 here. I'm back on my Xbox One, and today bringing you another Gears 5 video. In this video, I will be showing you how to get or unlock the Father Gears Miss Marcus character skin. And uh, it's a legendary skin. It looks pretty cool from the picture, but what you have to do is you have to complete the limited time Gears Miss metal set. Now, these medals have been out for several days at this point. Unfortunately, the coalition seen fit to make it so that you could not complete the medal set until today. Because there is one particular medal that you see I have highlighted here called Naughty or Nice, and you have to get 30 eliminations with the snow shot in the snowball fight versus event. Now, they did not put the versus event live until this Tuesday. I think it was like 1 or 2 o'clock Eastern time. It was while I was at work. But uh, anyways, that event is live now, and it is personally hell. Um, I hate it. It's the worst event that they possibly could have ever thought of adding. So unless you really like that kind of thing, you're probably not going to enjoy getting the 30 eliminations. But that is the terrible part. If you can suffer through getting those 30 eliminations, the rest is very easy. Now, there's going to be a link in the description that will take you to my other video that I made for Jingle Juvies because the rest of this can all be done in Jingle Juvies. So the metal Jingle, uh, Hell, One Horde, Open Slay, Dashing Through the Snow, Making a List, Checking It Twice, all of these medals can be done in Jingle Juvies in a incredibly easy fashion, like ridiculously easy. The one that'll take you the longest is checking it twice. But if you want the skin, you're going to have to go do this naughty or nice medal, and it is definitely naughty. I should mention uh, there is a chance that next year you may be able to get the skin in the featured category for coins. I don't know if they're going to do that. This is last year's Gearsmith skin, the Krampus Scion, and now it's available for purchase with iron or coins. Of course, I earned it and posted a video on it last year, so I'm kind of upset that you can craft it. It should be an event-only skin, but crafting it and buying it, it's... Yeah, so you might be able to wait. What you have to do, if you want to get it now and you don't want to wait, you have to go play this Versus event. So go to Versus, Category Snowball Fight, Boom Shots Fire Snowballs. Um, that doesn't sound necessarily bad. It kind of sounds like the Boom Snipes event or uh, the Cluck Shot event that they had for Thanksgiving. But um, yeah, it's, it's absolutely god-awful. So just so you know what you're getting yourself into, the boom shot fires a snowball and it does quite literally like one splash damage with a perfect active reload. So basically if you do not hit your target directly with it, you're not going to get the kill. It's almost, almost impossible to actually get an assist with this weapon. Uh, I can't really offer too many tips with it other than to pretty much close the distance unless you see a target just standing there and hip fire. Hip fire it like you would the Nasher. It's basically a snowball launching Nasher is what it is. Uh, you start with eight rounds. It's on multiple different maps. All the weapon spawns are replaced with this weapon and just go to town. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit and then I'm just going to edit to the end because I need eight more eliminations. And like I said, it is it is just terrible. Now, it does appear um, you can melee in this. So it does appear if you melee a target while you have the snow shot out, which this is the only weapon that you can even pick up in this mode. So it does appear like that actually counts. Now, there's also the good old assassination like uh, vaulting over a wall pulling an enemy over a wall things like that those assassinations do not count but the melee and then letting one of your allies actually take the kill as long as they get the kill with the snow shot and you still have the snow shot out does seem to work so uh don't really think of these guns the other tip is that i can give you don't think of them like a boom shot 
If you think of them like the boom shot, you're probably going to get killed trying to actually avoid it. Like, literally, that shot hit right at my feet. And basically, you can just sidestep these snowballs. It's the definition of retardation. It's like, oh, look. Okay, he did hit my feet with that one. Uh, if you watch the kill cam here, you see he literally hit me in, in the kneecap with it. But unless you get a direct hit on your target, it's impossible. There's no splash damage. You're not going to get an assist. If they wanted to do this as a snowball, they should have just given people gnashers that fired snowballs or something because this is dumb. At the very least, there should be splash damage. It is a grenade launcher. Now, the skin looks cool. Uh, like I said, it's just, yeah, it's it's bad. So uh, I can't offer too many tips other than to try and just bear with it. Grit your teeth. Um, you can do the, the whole melee thing. Like I said, it's possible to, uh, to get the assist elimination that way. And I would recommend the last tip is do not stay in a continuous game. So after one game finishes, at best, this is probably going to take you three games to do. But after that game finishes, go ahead and back out and search for a new lobby. The reason why I say that is because of the fact that most of the time people leave in this game mode. And then the teams are going to become unbalanced. And this is a very, very crappy event with an unbalanced team. Like, you can see, I'm, I'm basically just... <laughs> chasing this dude around in a in a circle it it's so dumb as i said executions work but executions they don't seem to to actually count so take your time um i'll see you in a second when the match is over and i can actually showcase the skin because this this gives me a migraine. Coalition should be ashamed uh, for putting this in the game. Alright, so you've seen I just uh, had that little metal complete pop up. Uh, it works just like Team Deathmatch. You can flip the spawns. As I said, not really a fun game mode. Once you have your metal complete, you can back out of the match if you want, or you can just finish the match out. It doesn't matter. Um, we're losing anyways here, so I'm just going to finish the the match out real quick and then I am going to showcase the really cool skin all right so like I said we were gonna lose that match doesn't matter I got my 10 eliminations there's my father gears miss Marcus now for some reason that execution I did did count as an elimination um, I did one earlier in a previous game when I was testing and it didn't count, so I wouldn't rely on the executions to get your eliminations. Uh, it seems to be like a 50-50 coin flip of whether they count for the medal or not. But once you get the agony of those 30 eliminations out of the way, the rest, if you are missing any of the medals that can be done in the Horde Jingle Juvies mode, They'll be incredibly easy for you to get. And then you get your really cool new skin. Now, I do already have a bunch of skins, obviously, for Marcus. So um, there's a couple out there that I don't have right now, which is like the Hive Buster one and the classic one. I don't have the ones you spend iron on, but uh, I have the regular one. I have the Desert Armor one. I have the Gilded Marcus uh, collector's winter armor which is my favorite we got the batista skin and of course that is the father gearsmith skin which i do think looks really cool it's kind of like uh, enough still cog and enough still marcus but just a little bit more festive 
I, I could see Marcus maybe being about that festive. Except instead of some scrolls, he might be carrying some hand grenades. But I think the skin looks really good. And um, I ho honestly hope that it never goes to the store to be purchasable with coins. Because that's just the dumbest thing that they do when uh, they make these skins purchasable. After you have to grind out the ridiculous metals to get them otherwise but that's how you get them i do hope that you enjoyed the video and i wish you the best of luck in getting the medals completed because well they're all easy except for the naughty and nice one in any case if you have any questions or anything feel free to ask i'll always do my help best to help you out and uh, yeah if you enjoy the video smash that like button and of course subscribe for more content until next time stay frosty